Think about the last time you looked up at the night sky. The blackness of space adorned with the glittering radiance of countless stars. Peering into a telescope, you see distant planets, faraway galaxies. Now, imagine if rather than taking that in with your eyes, you were using your ears. What would a black hole sound like? What about Saturn's rings? What if these sounds were the only way you could understand what was going on in space? Our ears are sensitive in ways that our eyes are not. You can hear changes. You can hear small changes in your data. You can process through large data over time. There's all these different ways for you to understand data through sound. Sonifications allow the audience, including blind and visually impaired communities, to listen to astronomical images and explore their data. What we're doing is we're just taking that process of translation and moving it one step further. So instead of just an image, we're taking the image and then mathematically mapping it to sound. Dr. Kimberly Arcand and her team from the Chandra X-ray Observatory created dozens of sonifications giving voice to celestial objects from across the universe. One of the most scientifically important images I've ever gotten to work on, it's called the Chandra Deep Field South. And what Chandra found in this, you know, kind of normal patch of the sky um, was thousands and thousands of black holes. And so as you're going through, you're hearing this beautiful sort of scene of young, massive black holes, and you feel like you're in it. The sonification, I, I think, communicates some of the excitement to it a little bit better than the image itself does alone, which I love. Their goal? To reach new audiences and create new experiences. Sound, music, tends to be very sticky in your mind, right? Like uh, you can get a, a song stuck in your mind for quite a long time, right? And it has a very different quality in your brain than just an image has. A tool for research, communication, and storytelling. It's a beautiful universe out there, and I hope we can all discover it. <laughs>